oak meadows like these here have evolved intertwined with indigenous communities who shaped them through centuries of controlled fires to create these vibrant grasslands, which kept conifers who would naturally encroach and dominate these clearings at bay, while the ash acts as a fertilizer to promote the growth of edible herbs, berries, and roots. Camas, a perennial in the lily family, plays an especially important role here, not only as a staple of these indigenous diets, but as a massive role in culture and trade, just as iconic as species like salmon or cedar. And this richness of camas was only made possible by the creation and maintenance of these incredible ecosystems. While these ecosystems came to be through human engagement, it's also humans that now pose the greatest threat to them. Development, urban sprawl, invasive species, and fire suppression have all contributed to the demise of these ecosystems, which are now less than 5% of their native range here in BC and still threatened. While it may all sound daunting, within all of this is a powerful message for hope. We do have the ability to protect that which remains and restore that which has been lost for the betterment of all who depend on them. We just need to consciously do so. These oak meadows serve as an important reminder that us humans are active parts of these ecosystems, not apart from them, and that their health depends on ours in a very interconnected manner. If we want to restore their health, then who better to manage them than those who have stewarded these lands since time immemorial? Similarly, these oak meadows serve as a metaphor to our role in the world, especially when it comes to issues like climate change. Sure, our lack of foresight has created some really big problems, but nothing exists in a silo, and only through our active engagement within these systems will we be able to create real solutions. It's up to each one of us to work constructively with one another and these ecosystems that we all share to create a future in which we can all thrive.